Oh, hey, go tell your daddy really fast. Daddy, help! Got a baby. A baby trying to climb. It's no bueno. I have a really bright window behind me. Let me turn the light on. I think that window is always bright. Maybe I always have you at another angle. There we go. That's so much better. Okay, so tonight we are having macaroni and cheese because this mama didn't want to cook. So <laughs> I am, I said, babe, should I go live to make macaroni? And he said, you should totally do it. So here I am going live to show you how to make macaroni and cheese. Now, uh, I will say, I've had some box macaroni and kind of messed it up or seen people mess it up. So there, there is, a, I guess, a learning curve to it. Um, and I also like it like right when it's done. I don't really like it when it sits there for too long. I'm gonna go ahead and pour my noodles in because my water's boiling and then I'll talk to y'all while it cooks. All right. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna show you what we got here after I stir this up some because they kind of have a tendency, the noodles kind of stick together. That's one thing. If you just pour them in there and walk away, the noodles definitely stick to each other. So I always um, shake them off. So I need that and then five minutes after that. Uh, another thing, I it is super important not to let your noodles overcook because they'll get really squishy and mushy and yuck. So, uh, I'm gonna show y'all my favorite, or like the one that we use, is this Annie's here organic mac and cheese. Now, it is still mac and cheese in a box, guys. This is not homemade, fresh mac and cheese, but I'm gonna tell you a couple reasons why it's a bit better than your traditional, like Kraft mac and cheese are definitely off-brand. So, um, off-brand mac and cheese are all gonna have food dyes in them. That's what, like the cheese itself doesn't make it colorful. Um, it's food dye. Now, a couple years ago, the whole company of Kraft, um, there was this big thing kind of, um, people kind of rose up and signed a petition like against Kraft saying like, stop putting food dye in your macaroni, it's bad for kids, all of this. So they did change their formula a little bit and they now color their um, mac and cheese with natural colors, which is great. However, um, they still have some pretty questionable ingredients that this one here does not have, okay? Uh, as far as preservatives. And the preservatives that they have are mostly found in their cheese packet. So the noodles, you know, are just noodles. Now, these here are, are made with organic wheat opposed to regular wheat, but honestly, the, the issue lies in the cheese, okay? So again, off brands, most of them in the cheese packet are gonna have MSG, which we've talked about before, uh, as well as the food coloring and a whole host of other preservatives. Now in Kraft Mac and Cheese, again, they did away with the food dye, but I have to even look at my paper because I wrote it down because it's kind of hard to pronounce. Um, all right, so they still put, it's called sodium triulfosphate, okay? And uh, I had a friend of mine ask me about some lotion a couple days ago, uh, and I was able to tell her a website that I always go to to check for um, like how good or bad certain food additives are for your body or uh, ingredients in lotion and uh, cleaning products and things like that. Is the it's it's just ewg.org I believe it's the Environmental Working Group. So they're a third party. They're not connected with any certain brands. They just study. Um, the repercussions of different chemicals in our bodies, okay? So this particular one that is in Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, um, it is, it, they like grade everything like A, B, C, D, or F, like you would on a school grade. So uh, Kraft Mac and Cheese gets a D, uh, and it's because those ingredients, they actually lead to asthma, respiratory issues, skin irritation, and eczema. So we actually have kids in our house that struggle with asthma and um, eczema. And as we changed our diet, their issues drastically got better. And we changed some other things too. Um, you know, we use essential oils 
and we change like detergent and stuff for skin irritation and things like that. Um, but it's really amazing to see what was once an ongoing issue all the time, asthma and uh, eczema are now like more spread out and they're like bursts of like an outbreak and then we're like, ooh, what caused this? What triggered this? Whereas before it was just an ongoing problem. So, you know, if you're just, if your kid has issues like that or if you have issues like that and you don't know why, it can very well be something that's in your food that you're not even aware of. Um, so again, I love veggies. I'm actually gonna throw some veggies, some frozen veggies in with my macaroni over here because that's about all the veggies we're gonna get out of this meal. Um, and I throw my veggies in towards the end so they don't overcook because my noodles only have about five more minutes that they need to cook. But I am gonna make sure my veggies are pushed down into the heat of the water so that they will soften up, okay? Um, but anyways, all that to say, I'm really passionate, not uh, not just like let's lose weight or um, like let's get a certain pant size. While after having seven babies, I want to exercise to feel good about myself and to have energy. Um, I want to feed our family um, for much more than their outward appearance. My passion and my like goal in feeding my family is to give them true healthy ingredients that build up their body, um, strengthen their immune system, and don't lead to um, issues when they're older. Um, so I just always wanna put a bug in your ear. Like if you're not reading ingredients, like ingredient lists on your packages of food yet, please start. Um, because it number one like it is it's kind of shocking like I remember when I first started to do that this is not like something I was raised to do this was not something that's been going on in my life forever um, I became a certified health coach about seven years ago and through all of that like training and the teachings I my mind was just blown of like what kind of stuff is in our food um, and opened my mind to a lot of things like I didn't even know what quinoa was this was before like quinoa was big. Like I feel like a lot of things are the like culture is kind of coming around and like there's more natural foods in grocery stores and things like that, which is awesome. Uh, but I took these classes before kind of that rush hit, and so I remember I went to the store and I was asking for quinoa, but I just saw it spelt and I was like, I didn't really even know what it was. I was like, do y'all have something called? quinoa and the guy looked at me like do you mean quinoa and I was like I think so I guess so um, so you guys start somewhere if you don't know what I'm talking about sometimes that's okay I didn't always know so uh, we're just making our um, we're making our macaroni over here without our sodium trial phosphate okay because we don't want asthma issues we don't want respiratory issues we don't want eczema um, so I am doing that. Now, what I'm gonna show y'all next is one of my favorite parts. I feel like this is the key ingredient to boxed macaroni, okay, if there ever was one. And it's on the box, but it says optional. But guys, if you want delicious, creamy macaroni, you can't leave out the butter, okay? Now, the reason people leave out butter is because they think butter is bad, butter is fatty, and there's this big stigma around butter. However, Butter, actually, now don't like eat a stick of butter, but butter has some great things in it that are great for your body. So this is great news, guys. Like be excited with me because you can eat butter. It's wonderful. Now, um, my favorite brand of butter is Kerrygold butter. And again, I know everything's always uh, backwards to you guys, but at least you can see what it looks like. This is Kerrygold butter. Now, the reason it is superior to other butters is because it is made from milk from grass-fed cows. Now, if you don't know, God made cows to eat grass. Um, God did not make cows to eat uh, other, all sorts of crazy things that is in there, like cow feed, um, like genetically modified corn and soy and other bits and things. Okay, so when they eat grass like they're supposed to, uh, first of all, the reason it's called carry gold is because, and that's probably gonna be hard to see, but it is actually very yellow butter um, because it's very rich in vitamin K, also known as beta carotene, 
um, because of what they are eating. So when you eat this butter, this Kerrygold butter, you are getting that beta carotene. It also has essential fatty acids um, that are cancer fighting. Sorry, I'm just checking my macaroni over here because I'm almost out of water. Um, it has omega-3s, which I know many of you are probably like, oh yeah, I know that omega-3s are good for you. I did not know you could get that from butter. So you can, so lots of good news here. Um, so anyways, all that to say, I absolutely feel like this is an essential ingredient to boxed macaroni because it can tend to be a little dry if not. Okay, so I put four boxes because our family is big and I'm also serving something else on the side. Um, but it's two, no, yes, two tablespoons, I think, like per, per box, okay? So I'm going to put in, this is uh, two, four, this is only six, so I'm supposed to do two more tablespoons after this. Um, so anyways, it's just, I want y'all to know, even on days where you don't wanna cook, you can have some convenient food in your house and still eat healthy. Um, I, I, you know, don't make macaroni every single day. I still try to add some veggies, um, but it's definitely still part of our, like, monthly um, food that we do eat. It's usually on non-quarantine, this is like our date night meal because it's easy for me to make this and then us leave and it feeds the, the people watching our kids and our kids. Um, and it's not something that takes a lot of time or effort. Um, so anyways, that is what I have to say. So don't overcook your noodles. Definitely add some butter. Throw in some veggies. Um, get you some organic Annie's macaroni and some delicious Kerrygold butter. All right. I hope that that was a little fun and made you a little excited that you can have macaroni and cheese and you can eat butter. And those are two great things in my life and probably yours too. All right, so I'm gonna go, it's beeping at me. I'm gonna strain it, I'm gonna make it and we're gonna enjoy our dinner. Y'all have a good night.